guess what happened <laughs> oh my god about um say four five days later hi guys welcome to my channel in case you're wondering why is she filming in her pages well i just finished cooking you can check the previous vlog to this one I finished cooking and yeah I'll be hopping into the shower and I've been kind of postponing this video since like forever my followers on Instagram have been asking me to make this video and I just keep postponing it and like I always say there's never a right time you have to create the right time for yourself so yay here am I <laughs> filming this video so just pardon me so today so, I'm talking about chicken pox in children um, the focus is in the UK we are about their little humans Whenever you have little kids together, there's always something. to that cough or kata or running nose or something. There's just always something. You no know, children now. And oh, and um, you know, as parents, we try our best to give our kids balanced diet, vegetables, fruits, multivitamins, and all those things. But some things are negative. But it's not really bad. It's not actually a bad thing per se if your kids come home with some things because all those things are just working together to build their immune system which just makes them stronger so yes that's it so um chicken pox is something that is just everywhere these days and chicken pox is caused by vzv that is the um, varicella zoster virus and it comes as little itchy bumpy rashes on the body from this rashes it moves to blisters it will look like a pimple that has fluid inside it like clear transparent fluid then when it dries up it turns into scabs one of my dreams are trying to come in excuse me guys so um it turns into scabs some of the symptoms are stomach aches fever tiredness loss of appetite um for kids kids can be cranky um high temperature and all of those things like that so when you notice that your, your child has chicken pox there's really nothing you can do what you just do is that you make sure your child stays hydrated you know have a lot of water juice tea anything they love to take chocolates hot chocolates anything just anything your child will take as long as it's fluid let them have it don't say oh this one is not this as long as it's fluid just let them have it it can occur in children and it can also occur in adults for children is better the younger the child is the better it is so in adults is more severe it's more severe it can lead to eye damage brain damage it can even lead to death in adults that's in severe cases so it's better when kids have it as little children than when they grow up and it's a once in a lifetime thing People don't get, people rarely get chicken pox twice on very rare occasions like say in 2 in 50 people 2 in 50 people will get chicken pox twice in their lifetime but that's really 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 rare it's really rare so yes that's it and there are vaccines for chicken pox but the vaccine doesn't stop you or your child from having chicken pox it only minimizes the effect for example just the way we have um, covid vaccine it doesn't stop you from having chicken pox but it just minimizes or reduces the um, symptoms so it doesn't really affect you too much so let me speak about my personal experience so when i was a teenager i had chicken pox i was around 15 there about i was around 15 years old so i had chicken pox and there was this girl i went to a boarding house so there was this girl in my dorm and we had we slept on bunks so i was sleeping up she was sleeping up so this was my own corner that was our own corner and you know she had chicken pox and i remember being so worried oh my god what i have to stay so whenever i see <laughs> oh my god <laughs> whenever i see her coming i would not breathe i would just hold in my breath and just allow her pass but well, i was careful not to allow her notice so she doesn't feel bad or something but guess what happened <laughs> About um, say four or five days later, I just noticed that I was seeing some spots on my body. It was itching. I went to the clinic. We call it CB or clinic. So I went and I was told it was chicken pox. So they called my mom to come pick me. So I went home. I remember then that they were giving me just um, was it water and prastamol or so, and they had calamine lotion where they applied on my body, on my face, everywhere. So it was just like that, and it left after some days. Chicken pox. 
is infectious even before it starts showing so for example someone can get exposed to chickenpox today but they will not have any effect it might take like one to two weeks after but rarely after two weeks very very rare one to two weeks after before it starts showing so um i've had it before then the first time was um then with our experience my first child she's six she came back from school and on the first day because sometimes when you ask her to go and sleep she can be dramatic <laughs> so i said go to bed and she said oh she came back after and was like oh i can't sleep my body's i said you have tired again at me eh? you have come again you have come again i said okay please go to bed so she complained complained and she slept the next day she came back from school and she kept talking about this said, okay let me just check what's happening so i checked her body i was like oh my god and this was like um a week to her birthday i was like oh my god oh my god after <laughs> imagine the photo shoots and everything and it was a weekend and there was also um bank holiday so pharmacies were not open like it was just she kept complaining of age and everything so i went to like 10 pharmacies most were closed about three were open two didn't have them luckily for me i'd gotten home i just said to just check google one more time there i saw one pharmacy i called him and he said and i said do you have um calamine lotion and they said yes oh my god i just took my car just, oh yeah. <laughs> i went there i took everything they had they had just two i just bought the entire two they had and um, i also saw one one gel small like this it's about eight pounds something less than nine pounds and the calamine lotion was less than three pounds so i just bought it and i came home i used it for her after a while you know it left and she would complain about oh, how itchy it was oh so because she can be dramatic i didn't really know it was that because i can't remember my own experience that i had then you know i didn't know it was going to be very itchy i thought maybe just normal itch. then i felt the calamine lotion should also calm it down so she would come in the night oh i can't sleep mommy i'm so itchy this one and that is what she does normally when she doesn't want to sleep so i said please go and sleep i kept giving her kapoor i made sure she was hydrated she continued with her multivy she was eating everything and you know with children you can't really separate them she has sisters the little sisters were just all over they were playing together sleeping on the same bed um, you say you sleep in your bed, you sleep in your bed. When you go back, they are together. Like it was just mm, at a point, I just said, mm, you know, it is what it is. What will I do? So, and that one left. I sisters didn't have it, and I was like, oh, okay, mm, that's nice. Even when she had it, I noticed that my youngest, which is one, had a temperature, a high temperature, but I didn't know what was wrong. I felt maybe she was teething or something. So I just gave her a couple and I just watched her. The next day she was fine, she was playing, she was eating and oh, it happened again. I did the same thing. Then after like less than two weeks, like one week plus, I just noticed that the middle child, the one that is four years old, she had it all over her back. Like I was like, oh my God, how come I didn't notice this? And the thing with chicken pox is that with each morning, it increases. So if you can see, say like three spots today, the next morning you will see like times two or times three. So it increases each morning. And I was like, oh my God, how come? Like it just came all over her uh, entire back and her chest and her forehead. She had a lot. So the same thing, calamine lotion, the itch, that itch gel, I was using it. I also got itch cream, Iraq's 10. So I'm going to link, I'm going to put pictures of all those things here or here. So I got anti itch creams and the anti each gels cooling gels and that was just what i did and i also noticed that the younger one that's the baby of the house she also had it but luckily for her she didn't really have too much it was on her face her back and chicken pox can go into the ears the mouth the scalp but luckily for them they didn't have it in all those places it was just their body and they had it on their scalp so yes so that was it and after a while it left and for my daughter's birthday, she had a few spots, but because they are still children, left easily. They kept saying, don't itch, don't itch, don't itch, but you know children and they'll definitely itch. So when they itch it, it makes it, it makes the scar even more difficult to leave. And now when it starts drying up, that it forms into a scar, like a wound, what we call wound, like a scar. So encourage your child not to peel it off, else it's going to turn, it might turn into a permanent scar. 
there are people that up to today even as adults they have permanent scars so because they kept but that period i kept watching them back to back but you know some things are inevitable this happened about a month ago but it's over a month i think about five weeks ago five six weeks ago but now it's way better for my daughter's birthday which was like a week after she just had few spots on her body and i was like mm, that's nice that's a wonder of you know young skins the cells are constantly renewing themselves and everything so if your child has chicken pox i think it's a really good thing as far at least they have it now that they are kids the earlier they have it the better the scar like it just goes the scar would be so not safe but if they have it say when they are bigger so um with my three kids age six age four age one it's less noticeable in my baby than the four-year-old and the four-year-old is less noticeable than the bigger sister so yeah that was it so this is what oh i was just trying to show you guys um what i've been using for their body um it's an emollient it was prescribed by the gp for something else entirely but i was like mm, this thing looks moisturizing but it's very thick it's as thick as it looks like vaseline but it's very very moisturizing so um i've been using it for them it has been their um, normal i've been using it as their normal body moisturizer and i noticed that it's really nice just that it's quite thick but it's it's working well for them so yes so now yeah that my husband when he was younger his younger brother had chicken pox and he said they slept on the same bed they used the same towel and he didn't get it and everything and guess what happened <laughs> oh my god one week after all the kids had gotten better the next thing i just saw something on his body and i was like hmm okay what is this I was just checking his body and he said no no nah, don't worry i can't have it don't worry i'm in you i said okay now no allah i believe you <laughs> the next day like to say the next day in fact not the next day that night just that he said oh it's that his body is so itchy oh my god i was like oh my god can you imagine so i just went to the pharmacy i went to look for calamine lotion and there was a nationwide shortage of calamine lotion he said it's, that it's from the company producing it so you know yeah so we didn't get calamine so I kept applying it on him, just like I did for the kids, and you know it was really itchy. So as an adult, in fact, it came out really. It was really scary, really, because he couldn't sleep at night. It was extremely itchy. Like he had to shave all his beard. He had to to bump his hair. Different things. Oh god, it was really serious. So it really came out in full force because he's an adult. I was actually scared. I just said a prayer, God. I don't know what's happening. You know, please help me. <laughs> <laughs> so yes that was it and after a while it got better and dark skin magic dark skin is just amazing beautiful imagine me not now having chicken pox at, at this age imagine like i'll just be feeling with spots all over <laughs> but i thank god so because i've had it before i'm now immune to it so you know sleeping in the same room the same bed me cuddling the little ones and everything i still didn't have it i thank god because it would have been funny <laughs> so that was our story with um, chicken pox and yes that's it you use anything or not chicken pox will go on its own after one or two weeks just like it might be unbearable for your child so that's why you need things like the anti itch cream the cooling gel the calamine lotion the capol for high temperature and they need to stay hydrated encourage your child not to itch trim their nails if you have a baby that has chicken pox, wear gloves for them. Chicken pox is dangerous in newborns and in adults. But for other kids, for like babies above three months, no, they'll be fine. Like, in fact, it's even better for them to have it when they are babies than when they grow up. I remember a friend said, um, a child had chicken pox. And when she told her sister, you know, that a child had chicken pox, that she had to bring her son to her house, that uh, she wants him to have it now that he's still here. So that's it share with your other mom friends in the uk or abroad let them be prepared and yeah something happened a mom in our community actually shared her experience with a child having chicken pox at all and she also shared something that she bought that really helped them that in two days everything that they were okay and i shared this thing and 
I that was sharing this, I never expected that. Okay, I will need this thing someday. So I just shared this thing. And when I needed it, I went to check online and they said it would take like, I think like two or three weeks to get to the UK. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so that's it. I'm going to link all those things. So if you have little children and you're in the UK, I would advise you, I'm not saying you should wish something bad on your child. There is nothing wrong if you get it, if you get the um, stuff. So these things are really scarce. So just have them and your child having chicken pox is not a bad thing because they're going to be immune and it's like I say all the time, it's better like that they have it when they are still young. So yeah, that's it. What else did I forget? Um... Yeah, so about chicken pox vaccination. So in the UK, it's about 65 to 70 pounds per shot and your child needs two shots of the vaccine. But then my three kids, vaccinated but they still got it so and i know a few other people too if you vaccinate your child now they might not get it now but at some point in their life they will get it it's not actually please i'm not <laughs> to see what this lady say i'm not cussing i'm not saying anything bad into but it's just you know one of those things so and i also got um DMs from moms in my community saying, Oh, they've never had chicken pox in their life, but now they're having it, their partners are having it, and blah blah blah. So, please share this video with a mom friend in the UK or abroad and just get yourself prepared. I'm wishing you all the best, mamas. If you are not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram as my jam mom in the UK. We talk about everything fashion, faith, family, life in the UK, lifestyle, cooking training children and all of those good stuff if you need to ask me any question feel free to drop it in the comment section or send me an email at smanjamomdik at gmail.com until next time thank you for watching bye bye